Now, as we've said, our YouTube channel is not only going to be bringing you a close-up look at some of the shirts you love, but also a behind-the-scenes look here at classic football shirts and at football shirt collecting in general. So today's shirt of the day, we're having a chat with Gary O'Hare, who is print manager here at Classic Football Shirts, and we're going to be talking about football shirt printing. I've been printing the shirts here for about 18 months now. Started off by basically printing my own shirts at home. Caught the bug about five years ago. I actually ended up buying a heat press from uh, somebody that was selling a heat press and I ended up just trying it myself, enjoying it, and a nice but expensive wee hobby. One of my personal favourites at the minute is the Malaga print from 1314. It's a two-tone number with a silver and a white half to it with the, the club logo at the bottom. There's actually a, a gap in the number itself, so that actually, the main colour of the shirt comes through on that. In Spain there's a wee bit more licence to produce your own design in that, and the Malaga one I think is fantastic. Basically the process of pressing the name and number on a shirt here at Classic Football Shirts involves obviously having the shirt and the print, then we research whereabouts it is actually positioned on the shirt. We try to follow that as closely as we can. Um, so that the shirt that we print looks as, as close to the player's shirt as, as possible. Then we pull the heat press down, apply the heat to it for 10, 15, 20 seconds. Each print has a different sort of time or pressure or heat specification. When the heat press finishes, it's basically done. Wait for it to cool and peel, and then you've got your, your perfect shirt. I would always, always wash name and numbered shirts inside out, low temperature, and that should basically help prolong the life of the name and number. I think people like having something that's just a wee bit different and, and unique nearly to themselves. You know, people have a favourite player, iconic players, even funny names as well. So people, people have their own taste and with the name and number I think it lets people cater the shirt to their taste and lets them stand out a wee bit from the crowd 